kindergartners. Um, you all have done so well that guess what? We're going to paint today. I'm so excited. Uh, we are going to do the big green monster. I'm going to have a copy of the book. We're going to listen to the book first. And we have already talked about shapes. This is our circle. Um, remember when we did our trains, I said to put your hand in the center, and that's where this is going to go. Your monster is going to become your monster. So you're going to set your hand in the center. I'm going to trace all the way around. See how my pencil's straight up and down? And you, you can do it light. I'm doing a little darker so you can see it. So here's my monster head. After I've traced it, I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to put my name right in the center. You're going to put your class letter and number. So you're a kindergarten, and then you might put K for Kelly, B for Baltus, okay? And we'll talk about that. Now, part of being using... Uh, Paint is to be responsible, and you've done such a good job with my supplies that we're moving on to paint. Um, you want to push up your sleeves, okay? So push up my sleeves if you have sleeves. If you don't have sleeves, you don't have to worry about it. And you'll have a plate in the center of your table, and that's where it stays, and you'll have a paintbrush. And this is called a barrel. That's the barrel of the paintbrush, and we'll just have plates, and I'll put the paint on there, and you stay in your seat, and we'll have it in the center of the table, and we'll share the paint. And this is the barrel, and we don't want to leave this in the water. We're probably not going to have even water at our table, but I just want to explain to you about a paintbrush because this would rust and fall off. So you want to take and hold it like, kind of like a pencil, but scoot it forward. Don't have your hands all the way at the middle of it, but hold it like a wand. Don't be stiff with it. And then you're going to put it in your, um, dip it in your paint, and you're going to start. I like to start, see how my pinky guiding it? I like to start on the outside. You see how I'm pulling that brush towards me? Because you want a nice smooth line, and I get as close to that line as I can. If I run out, I get more paint. And something else that you need to remember that you can do, you can turn your paper. So you're gonna go all the way around. Oh, I got a little drop on there, that's okay. Now we're gonna pretend I've done the whole thing. Now I wanna show you something with your brush. Please don't do this, because this will ruin your bristles. Okay, and it'll have a bad hair day. So always pull towards you pull towards you, so do the whole outside. I would go all the way around, pretend that I've gone all the way around. This is the first step to this project. Okay, now we're gonna pretend that I finished the entire thing. So it's magic. And then I set my brush, my brush down on the plate, and now, voila, one that's done. And you're gonna very carefully carry it like it's a fresh uh, pan of cookies, and they're hot, and you don't wanna drop them. So you're gonna carry it like this, don't get it on your shirt. Carry it like this. And then they're going to go to the drying rack. Now the drying rack, you always have to start at the bottom, very carefully put it in, and I will help you. And then you can go back to free drawing. You can practice drawing a monster if you want, because the second video, I'll show you how to make your monster.